A moving average, also called the rolling average or running average, is an average based on subsets of data at given intervals. A moving average is when you keep the time period of the average the same but keeps moving as new data is added. Simple moving average is the average of the data points in the given duration. Excel has an inbuilt tool to calculate the simple moving averages. It's called the Data Analysis Tool Pack. The Analysis Tool Pack is an Excel add-in program that provides data analysis tools for financial, statistical, and engineering data analysis. To load the Analysis Tool Pack, click on the File tab, click on Options. Under Add-ins, select Analysis Tool Pack and click on the Go button. Check Analysis Tool Pack and click on OK. Data Analysis Tool Pack is now enabled. It appears in the Data tab in the Analysis group. For example, as part of some simple weather forecasting, we want to calculate the three-day moving average. On the Data tab in the Analysis group, click on Data Analysis. Select Moving Average and click on OK. Moving Average dialog box appears. Click in the Input Range text box. You can enter the input range. Or click on the Collapse dialog button and select the input range. Click on Expand dialog. If the first cell in your input range includes a text label to identify or describe your data, select the labels in first row check box. In the Interval text box, enter how many values to include in the moving average calculation. Enter 3 to calculate a 3-day moving average. In the output range, select the cell where you want the results. If you want a chart that plots the moving average information, select the chart output checkbox. If you want to calculate standard errors for the data, select the standard errors checkbox. Excel places the standard error values next to the moving average values. Click on OK. Excel calculates the moving average and standard error. Note that the first two cells in column C have the result as pound NA error. This is because it's a three-point moving average and needs at least three data points to give the first result. So the actual moving average values start after the third data point onwards. Excel doesn't have enough information to calculate a standard error. It places the error message into the cell. The output values are plotted in a chart. Click in the result cell. All the data analysis tool pack has done is use the average function to calculate the three day average. If all you need is the moving average value and not the standard error or chart, using a formula can be a better option. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.